Congratulations, coach. Uh, so, good game. But what's your assessment of the Bengaluru FC boys? I t thought they made, made it life very difficult for us. I thought um, their energy, the intensity, uh, caused us a lot of problems, particularly second half. I think they can be very proud of what they've shown. Um, and certainly, if we didn't have the cushion, it would have been a lot more nervy towards the end. But thankfully, you know, we got, uh, we got over the line. So, uh, I mean, you analyse your set of boys. What is your analysis of the rights and the wrongs of Bengaluru? Um, I wouldn't say there's rights and wrongs. It's just, uh, f from our point of view, I think the pressing, definitely with the physicality, helps and, and helped in, in, the, in, in the game. Um, but I thought some of the technical stuff from, from, you, from your guys was, was really strong. The combination player, particularly in the final third, was, was some really good stuff and caused us problems. Um, but um, yeah, I thought, as I said, caused us many problems, but they can be really proud of what they've, what they've shown and gave us a tough game. And as I said, if, uh, if we didn't have the goal cushion going into, going into the second half, then it could have been a different story. How do you think uh, an experience like this uh of uh, the boys from India coming down and playing a club like Leicester at their turf helps them from an experience, from an enhancement of their ability. We say to our lads every day that they're lucky to be in this facility and have the infrastructure around to to actually perfect perfect their craft essentially. Uh, so your guys coming over and seeing this, it should give them added motivation to to push themselves to to aspire to their, to achieve their dreams uh, and hopefully that's what it's that's what it's done um, because we're blessed basically to be working in a facility like this and the players we, we say it every day that you've, you've got to be thankful of your surroundings and you've got to make the most of it because it's not all like this so this partnership with Premier League and the FSDL in the Super League um, you know aims to develop Indian football as a whole. So what is it that you find would benefit Indian footballers out of this experience like a next gen cup? I think it's just experience in different cultures, different, uh, different cultural styles of football, um, physicality, um, the speed of the game, the intensity of uh, the pressing and different facets of, facets of the game. Um, and particularly for our lads as well, it works both ways. Our guys experiencing a different cultural style of football against different opposition um, and having to deal with that and, and, and how they can cope because they wouldn't ordinarily get that test if they stayed in this country. So having that cultural uh, crossover is really important. So a message for the boys in India who are not here, who are looking to make it big in Indian football. Any message you would have as a coach? I th yeah, I would say that if you if you aspire to work in England and play at the top level, and the facilities are here, everything is here to make you better at what you do. So if you have that dream, then work hard, keep focused, and follow it. Thank you.